हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ पवन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट ग्रेडियंट्स इन एमआरआई सिस्टम सो एज आई हैव प्रिपेयर्ड सेवरल वीडियोस प्रीवियसली सो आई वुड नॉट गो इन मोर डिटेल्स अबाउट ग्रेडियंट फंक्शनिंग्स एंड ऑल बट इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कम अप विथ फ्यू टर्म्स दैट वी आर यूजिंग इन एम आर ओके सो आई हैव प्रिपेयर सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स दैट आई एम गोइंग टू कवर टूडे लाइक मीनिंग ऑफ ग्रेडियंट्स वट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ ग्रेडियंट टर्म्स रिलेटेड टू ग्रेडियंट्स लाइक ग्रेडियंट स्ट्रेंथ राइस टाइम ट्यूटी साइकिल डिले स्लीव रेट ग्रेडियंट सेंसिटिविटी रेडी करेंट कंपनसेशन क्रॉस टर्म कंपनसेशन एंड सेंसिटिविटी एंड अदर पॉइंट्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो एज यू नो फ्रेंड्स लाइक द मीनिंग ऑफ ग्रेडियंट एज आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू इन प्रीवियस वीडियोज ग्रेडियंट मीन्स स्लोप लाइक दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्लोप दिस इज योर एक्स एक्सिस दिस इज योर वाई एक्सिस दिस इज योर जीरो एंड दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ स्लोप so this ramp is called a gradient gradient is just like a english term it can be a voltage gradient it can be a pressure gradient it can be a temperature gradient and many more like that for an example if there is a room like this and there is an air conditioner installed here okay this is your AC. If the person is standing here at this plane, let's say for an example A, and a person is standing at place B, so the temperature gradient, the temperature variation, we have to understand here. So this AC is running, the, the cooling will be more here, and lesser and lesser and gradual decrease will be here. So from here to here, there will be a temperature gradient, means. the maximum effect will be at a and the minimum effect will be at b something similar to that we can correlate in mri and we can understand like gradient so gradient means we can say gradient means a slope okay so let us close this so now we all are clear that gradient is a kind of slope okay in mri so we can say as like a gradient in mri it what is what is the meaning of this gradient we can say that the gradient in mri is like a switch mode current generators switch mode current generators so what is the gradient switch mode current generating amplifiers so amplifier so gradients are like an amplifier amplifying the current and sending it to the gc so this is your amplifier x amplifier y amplifier and z amplifier so these are the amplifiers current generating amplifier amplifying and giving the current to your gradient coil what is gradient coil gradient coil is a shielded coil inserted in mri so suppose this is your magnet main magnet this is your gradient coil and this is your rf coil so now this is your magnet this is your gc and this is your rf coil hope you understood this so what is gradient you can say it's a switch mode current generating amplifier let us clear this now and now the next one is if i want to draw this gradient amplifier what is that exactly this gradient amplifiers are like uh, you companies are calling it as a gpa gradient power amplifier it is basically a combination of igbts insulated gate bipolar junction transistor okay so it's a kind of a combination you can let me draw it like uh, if i want to draw it for you to explain it very well it will be like this four igbts connected back to back together okay so this is your igbt this is your igbt 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 okay and here is your output okay and uh, if i run the current here so your current is firing like this something like this this is the loop so igbt 1 is running then igbt 3 is running this is 1 2 3 and 4 so 1 is running 3 is running and your current loop is completed okay so uh, this is a kind of mechanism this is a igbt assembly this is called gpa hope you understood and uh, now the to give you a better idea about 
the gradient system i am trying to draw a schematic for an example what i have done i explained you about gc this is your gradient coil this is a shielded coil gradient coil shielded means your uh, x coil your y coil and your uh, z coils are inside and this is a shielded one not like that exactly just for your understanding i have made this gc okay so this is your gc so the gc is getting a supply from gpa x y and z this is called gradient power amplifier as i explained you what is gpa gpa is gradient power amplifier is a switch mode current supply supplying amplifier is a supplying current okay so this amplifier is supplying a current and uh, how much this amplifier need to amplify what is the what is the what is the channel in between and that is controlling this so there is a person in between controlling this and the name is modulator modulator or controller kind of thing some electronic board so this electronic card is doing what it's controlling the x axis y axis and z axis amplifier signals are coming from here to x axis and controlling the x current current and voltage then signal is coming from y from here to y then from here to z and they all are trying to control and from where this electronic card is getting signal so suppose uh, this is your electronic card and uh, this electronic card is getting the control signal from a uh, another controller card okay and the name is regulator means suppose there is a home and a window here okay so air is blowing so how much amount of air should enter inside the house this window will decide the door will decide so the door need a regulation so the doors will regulate what they will do the doors will regulate and the window will open and allow the air to go inside so whatever signals we have suppose whatever signals we have here the regulator will regulate and allow the signals to go inside and accordingly this modulator will modulate so basically this modulation and regulation is a kind of electronic circuit that gives the signal to amplifier and this amplifier is giving currents and voltage to the gradient coil so some input signals they need and these input signals are coming from the mri cpu cards or some master computers cpu controllers or some different companies are using different different terms so basically the signal starts from the cpu or some master component goes to this electronic cards and basically what is happening inside this electronic card there is a regulation proportionate integrate and differentiate actually pid regulation techniques they are using and there is a modulation technique here they modulate the signals and there is a feedback mechanism like input you have given output is there and whatever is the feedback it will come to your input and next time your you will give a corrected input so this is your input and this is your output so kind of mechanism is being used here so let me clear the board so i hope you got a little idea about your gradients okay so as a recap x gradient is a slice select gradient y gradient phase encoding gradient z gradient frequency encoding gradient or read out okay so your gradients are working in such a way so these are the main uh, things in that gradient uh, uh, chapter and uh, there are some nomenclatures that we are using mainly in gradient studies like uh, gradient rise time let us take an example what is gradient rise time okay suppose this is your value this is your zero and this is a point from one the gradient started increasing and attained certain st strength here became constant and then came to zero so this is your this is your rise time okay and if i ask you what is gradient strength so this will be your gradient strength this is your gradient strength like your gradient is zero and what is the strength of your gradient so this is the strength of your gradient how much from minimum to maximum the amplitude that it is attaining so this is your gradient strength and this is your gradient rise time it should be in microsecond okay and gradient strength you can measure it in uh, wait, let me change my like uh, milli tesla per meter okay so 
gradient rise time is also called as a gradient speed gradient speed okay now the term commonly used is slew rate so what is slew rate so it is like strength of a gradient over time what is the strength of a gradient over time so you can say it s t r e n g strength over time so milli tesla per meter upon second this is your slew rate so what is slew rate slew rate is the strength of gradient over time hope you understood friends so now now the most uh, common term used is duty cycle okay so the percentage of time the gradient is permitted to work the percentage of time gradient is permitted to work it is called your duty cycle so if we correlate if the slew rate is high duty cycle will be high means more and more duty cycle means gradient is working more so duty cycles are associated with your gradient duty cycle is high heat is also very high heat gradient coil heat is also very high you need to maintain the chiller and uh, now the next is a uh, great we will take an example as a gradient delay another point is gradient delay gradient amplifiers have a delayed response as i told you this is your gc this is your signal and this is your gradient amplifier x y and z so these gp a gradient power amplifier actually they have a delayed response so normally normally the gradient amplifiers have the delayed response okay so this is due to the coil inductance of the different amp like different axis we can say axis so this uh, delayed response because the different different like inductance x coil inductance is different y coil inductance is different and z coil inductance is different so inductance difference so the, so the delayed response is because let me the gpa the amplifiers give delayed response whatever like 100 rupees you are sending it is reaching slowly or it is not start you send the money but not started from here it's not reaching here there is a delayed response so the de delayed response is because of the inductance na inductive nature of the gradients okay and uh, this is called gradient delay and this has to be measured we want to know the delay what is the delay if we know the delay determine the delay time of each gradient axis a precise timing of gradient pulse delayed response and uh, exact rf firing and all very very important so we need to know what is the gradient delay actually and then we can add some values in that and we can do the correction of the gradient so the gradient delay is something related to this and now another topic is uh, gradient sensitivity so friends the purpose of this measurement is to fix the actual lsb of the gradient amplifier lsb means least significant bit means from here from 0 to 100 you are reaching this is your home and this is your school so from here to here if you are reaching if you are walking what is the least significant bit what is the lsb from where we are starting from where we have to start the firings and all the actual lsb of the gradient amplifier is mandatory and we have to fix this to start the measurement so that the gradient strength can be calculated this is basically for actual image size fov it is actual image size fov so what is the image size and what is the actual size that we need to determine so when the patient is in mri patient is lying here okay and uh, the head we have done the scanning suppose this is your head scan and the image is like that so what is the image size and what is the actual size of the patient so this kind of determination and calculation we have to do there is a relation is called gradient sensitivity hope you got a little idea about this let me clear this friends for you so gradient sensitivity also is clear now the term normally comes cross term compensation and eddy current compensation let me write cr cross term compensation and eddy current compensation these are the two commonly used terms in mri that i think almost all the mri professionals know about this so first we'll take this one eddy current compensation it is basically the dynamic gradient field produces the eddy current in the mri in all surrounding conductive structures like whenever there is a dynamic field field is changing because of the gc gradient coil nature is to change dynamic gradient field and field is changing what happens if the field is changing there will be eddy current in all the surrounding conductive structures like body coil like body coil or transmit coil magnet bore trio shield etc any nearby metals and all so this eddy current comes on these 
objects on these surfaces okay this eddy current produces a magnetic field so this eddy current generated here produce a magnetic field and that is opposing the main magnetic field so what we do we need to read that understand that and we have to neutralize that eddy current developed in cryo shield okay so eddy current main mainly actually eddy currents uh, developed in cryo shields like if in cryo shield there is a eddy current okay so because the cryo shields are too cold so this eddy current will slowly decay and if the eddy current is generated in body coil suppose this is the body coil and eddy current is generated so this will generate fast because it is heat body coil is transmitting rf so eddy current will generate decay fast but here it will not so we have to neutralize it so we have to put a negative current add a negative current and neutralize it same cross term compensation cross term compensation is also like a, a any gradient field is applied in any axis not only eddy current that axis is also a small amount of eddy current produced to means cross term compensation any gradient field applied in any axis suppose x axis is on it will create a, an effect on y axis gradient and y is on it will create a, a effect on z axis so eddy current produces here because of x there is a leakage current on y because of y there is a leakage current on z so first we have to determine read understand what is the value of these and then we have to do a compensation so that is called cross term compensation hope you understood friends and uh, just give your feedbacks whether these things are clear to you or not that will be more encouraging for me for future videos thank you very much